What's good, what's good? Welcome back to Investment Trade with Jax. Hope you had an absolutely spectacular weekend. Happy Monday. Good afternoon from Bali, Indonesia. Gonna go over our friend Bitcoin, currently sitting at 16.3K, down about 2.4 on the day, sitting at market cap of 311 B. I could hear this kind of hissing whistle sound outside, and I was like, I know that's an FPV drone. And I went out and I looked in the sky and I was like, there it is. <laughs> Pretty cool. FPV, you have to wear goggles and within the goggles, you see what the drone sees and you have more maneuverability. Um, it's a pretty cool experience. I haven't flown my FPV yet here in Bali, but I have been capturing quite a bit with my DJI drone, which is right here. And uh, my camera, which I post on IG. Anyways, you guys don't really care. Well, if you're new to Bybit, make sure to sign up. Grab up to $30,000 in bonuses. Uh, you can check out my full-length tutorial. The link is in the description at the end of the video as well. And um, grab those bonuses. After you make your first deposit, email me your sign-up email. I'll give you free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members. So we broke down from this small symmetrical triangle that I posted in the Discord. Obviously, this upward target is finished now. And I think we may see a bounce from this yellow box. I'm gonna show you guys why. If we don't, then we stick with my original bearish wave count, which is that we came down in a wave one. This is a wave two pullback, looking to come down in a wave three. But I think we may bounce. And what we may see, see here, so what we are looking at, I'm gonna show it to you on another chart, is we're looking to come down in that wave five. We came down in a one and a very drawn out wave two. And I think we may be doing that again. So previously I was talking about a shortened wave three, but there's a reason why I don't really like this scenario. And it's because the wave three can never be the shortest wave. So the wave five has to be shorter than 12.4K. And I don't think it's likely. I think we will probably break that level. So the alternative wave count that we can be looking at here, as you can see, this is a very drawn out wave two. So what I'm looking at is potentially we're seeing another drawn out wave two. So we came down, uh, why does this have to be? I'll fix it in a sec. We came down in a wave one and all of this bullshit right, <laughs> right here is a wave two. And then you're looking to come down in a three, four, five, which would only complete the wave three, you would see the wave four pullback and the final wave five. So we're gonna change the color for this one and make it smaller. Hope everybody's doing well and hope you're working towards all your goals and aspirations. We'll make it sub micro. Okay, so what we could be looking at is that we came down in a wave one and now we're going through a complex wave two. And to simplify it, we could be going through an ABC correction. There's more minute wave counts within the ABC, but just to keep things simple, we could be looking at a wave A, and then, and then we had a three wave move into a wave B, and you're looking to push up in a wave C. And within wave C's are five waves. So potentially what we're looking at here is that we've come up in a wave one, this is a wave two pullback, wave three, wave four, wave five to potentially complete the wave C. So we'll change the color of this one. We'll make it, we're gonna drop this out, make it minuscule, and we'll drop in the ABC as well. So it came up in a five-way move in an A, and then we had a three-way move into a B, and you're looking to come up in that wave C. Potentially, that's what I'm looking at, potentially an ABC flat correction. So if that does happen, then you'd be looking for a bounce. So you have your wave one impulse to the upside, a five-way move take a uh, fib retracement from the bottom to the top, and you'd be looking for a bounce, ideally in between the 0.5, which we'd already hit, and the 0.786, which is 15.7K and 16.1K. So if we do see a bounce from this level, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I think is the more probable scenario because I didn't like that the wave three was so short. So this makes more sense to me that we're still looking to put in the wave two of the wave three. And we're putting in a, a long, boring ABC correction, just as we did right here. Completed the wave one, wave A, wave B, all of this was annoying bullshit. And then we put in a wave C into a wave two. I think we're doing that once again, where we've come down in a wave one, and now you put in a wave A, this was all a wave B. And now you're looking to put in that wave C, which consists of five waves. And so far we have, if I zoom into the one hour time frame. We have had a five wave move into a wave one. And now we're putting in the wave two pullback right here, 
looking to push up in the way three. That's if we bounce from this level. That's what I think is the likely scenario. Um, I had posted in the Discord that potentially we're just seeing a short way three here. But now that I look at it closer, it makes more sense to me that this is just a part of the corrective wave two. And wave three is not complete yet. We're still going to put in a five wave move into a three, put in a four, and then put in a wave five to take you down in between 10 to 12K, which I think is the most, most probable scenario. Now, if we were to just sell off and we don't bounce, then we can just focus on my bearish wave count that we've been covering for quite a while now that uh, we put in a one, two, looking to come down in the three, which consists of five waves. And we put a wave one down and a wave two pullback, which broke the 0.786, but didn't break the previous high, so it's still valid. So if we just continue to sell off, your wave three target is down here at 14.2K, all right, gang? Hopefully all of that makes sense. If you're new to Elliott Wave, definitely recommend watching some incredible um, tutorials here on YouTube. You can also sign up to my Discord where I post my analysis regularly. So as time goes on, you'll get a better feel for how it works and you'll be able to understand Elliott Wave Theory. All right, guys. So looking at the NDQ, um, obviously this won't open up again until today, but we, we are holding the EMA. So we'll see if we see continuation because if you see continuation for the NDQ, most of the time, that's bullish for the price of Bitcoin. And the DXY as well is starting to form that double bottom with that bullish divergence on the daily. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. We do have the EMAs bearing down on it. We created the bearish cross. So what may happen is we just come back up to retest the EMAs and then get rejected, come back down. We'll have to see how that plays out. And the Dow Jones, once again, once New York... Once New York trading hours open, I think the Dow Jones is going to push up to that level of resistance that we're covering on the channel, 34821 and about 35.3, uh, and potentially see a rejection and come back down. We'll have to see how that plays out. All right, gang, that's it for this one. Make sure to sign up to Bybit. Check out my full-length tutorial. Make that first deposit um, or BitGit, whichever you prefer. Uh, BitGit just told me that there's going to be a VPN required now because of, wow, well, I'm looking like Voldemort in the dark here, because um, of the X FTX debacle. And the U.S. is just becoming more and more strict, and it's very hard for these leverage exchanges to uh, be accepted by the American government. So you will have to start using a VPN for, for both now. So, But once you make your first deposit, you can email me or sign up email free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members and at the 10 USD membership, excuse me, which you can sign up through the Patreon, early access to my analysis that can be very helpful with your trading and investing um and my trade signals as well as you can see what i'm doing with my huddle all plays all for ten dollars a month which is the price of a big mac these days so don't be eating big Macs. sign up to jack's discord <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care